Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to another episode of our Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Roller Coaster Constructor Series. We've got a good one for you today here. Uh, we are going to jump into building out a Virginia Reel. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a Virginia Reel is, it's actually a roller coaster that was designed uh, here in the Northeast in Brooklyn, in my hometown. A uh, little fun fact, I am from Brooklyn. I was born and raised right by Coney Island. My first roller coaster was the Cyclone. So yeah, this has a lot of history for me. So the Virginia Reel being uh, from 1908, you know, you've got a coaster that's got a lot of history, a lot of background. Um, and, and that's pretty much what you've got in front of you here. Now what I'm doing here is the basic layout. And this is the layout of the one that was in Coney Island. And as you can see, I'm treating it very similarly if you've ever seen me build any of my wild mouse coasters like a wild mouse. So the Virginia Reel, basically what you've got is a roller coaster that is a, for lack of a better comparison, teacup ride on a roller coaster track. This is another coaster that does not have anything holding it to the tracks. So you've gotta be mindful of your speed. You've gotta be mindful of airtime hills. You've gotta be mindful of, um, the amount of curves as well, because there are no brakes. So this thing is gonna spin like crazy and increase that nausea reading through the roof. So what I've done here is I've created basically a similar layout of that to the real thing or the one that was in Coney Island here in Brooklyn, New York. And, you know, I'm pretty stoked the way it came out actually. It looks, it looks pretty spot on, to be frank with you. I'll throw a picture up right here uh, for you guys to see that in a moment, but yeah, I mean, it looks pretty spot on. Uh, again, three things you gotta be mindful of. You gotta be mindful of speed, you've gotta be mindful of minimal to no airtime hills, and you've gotta be mindful of the fact that there are no brakes, right? So really managing that coaster as a whole is super important in being able to gauge when and where that coaster is going to have speed. Uh, when it's gonna hit a turn, if it's gonna spin wildly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the coaster here in a moment. I was fiddling with color a little bit here. Uh, I wind up choosing the classic, you know, white, white and red with a brown base, which I, I, I mean, again, it's classic, classic, classic coaster. You know, this is one of those coasters I wish that I was able to ride. Um, I feel like they still, there's a couple that still exist. I wanna say Theme Park Worldwide had a video um, with a Virginia real ride in it. Uh, you actually, you're on the ride and you go past like a beer garden. I don't remember what video it was. I wish it, I, I did, but uh, I would check out theme park worldwide. They've got a video, uh, of Sean going to this theme park with a Virginia real, but anyways, yeah, so this is the Virginia real ride here. Um, and again, you can see as it takes that first little dip, it starts to spin, right? So again, this is not a ride that's going to be very fast. It's not meant to be extremely exciting, uh, from a base ride perspective, right? So it's a base layout, no theming whatsoever. And this is where it gets a little bit of exciting. You can see actually in the photos, again, I'll post another one up here where you can see how the ride just careens through that, like uh, that roundabout area just past the station. Again, they're not meant to be super high. So you really don't want to go more than like 50 feet. This is a really great ride to have as a terrain ride or an exploration ride and have it go through different areas of terrain, uh, through mountainsides, in and out of caves. Like this would be a really fun ride for that. So something to think about. But if you look at the statistics there, it really wasn't that dramatic from a statistical standpoint. Um, this is a good mid-range family ride. And that's exactly how you should view it when you're putting it into your parks. Um, when we speak to, you know, different types of theming or different types of environment, this is the type of ride that you would find in a more classic, I'm sorry, uh, hiccup, uh, a more classic theme park or a more classic environment, right? Um, or amusement park, not theme park, amusement park. Now what you could do, which I think would be really cool if you do go the route, I believe it was Nobles that just built the world's first, or not world's first, but the only fully wood flying turns roller coaster. And we'll do one of those in this series as well. So you guys can see what that looks like. But again, it's taking that older nostalgic type ride and building it with modern technology 
uh, but still keeping that nostalgia. And this is how, this is the type of coaster I would love for them to bring back with modern enhancements um, and theme it in an area of a theme park that's meant to be like an old, you know, 1920s amusement park. I mean, how great would that be? Personally, I think I would love it. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just futzing with the coloring here. Uh, again, I wanted the white base uh, with the brown. So as you see, I did uh, two color, two specific color themes there so I could paint the track pieces, different pieces there. And here we are just throwing on, you know, again, this type of a coaster, this is exactly how it looked. It had scaffolding with a track on top. There were no uh, supports on the outsides of this coaster to give it stability, further stability. Um, but it sat, I mean, the one at Coney Island sat from 1908 to 1960. So you're talking about a really long time this coaster uh, was around. It's a really super fun fact, my mother actually rode the original Virginia Reel in Coney Island when she was a child. Um, just to give you some idea of my age. Wah. Jesus Christ, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so this is how you build a Virginia Reel. Again, you can see the, the, the kind of the way that, that careens through the track. It does a lot of spinning. Um, and that's the whole basis of the ride. That's how you, that's how you create a Virginia Reel, in essence. And uh, I hope you got something from this particular video. Um, because a lot of people, you know, I know when I first started this, this game, building this coaster wasn't a priority ride for me. You know, it wasn't one of those coasters like, I got to build a Virginia Reel. You know what I mean? But now that I've, you know, and that was 20 years ago when I was 19, 20 years old. But now that I, you know, have such a love and such a, uh, what's the word I want to use? Appreciation for, for history at theme park, amusement park history. You know, I think about this coaster and I think about, you know, what was and what could have been if Coney Island had continued its, its, you know, amazing, you know, golden era, quote unquote, you know, there was that massive fire where most of Coney Island had burned down and they rebuilt it. Now they're putting, you know, all of these large buildings around it. It's just, it's very not chic, you know, uh, Zamperla though is doing a great job revitalizing the area. They just redid the whole train station there. Um, actually in an upcoming series that I'm going to do, I'm going to be building a, you know, beachside roller coaster theme park. But anyway, I hope you guys got something from this video as we're wrapping it up, throwing up this little bit of station-esque stuff here. Again, this is an amusement park type ride, so it's not going to be anything too fancy. You know, again, looking back at the pictures I posted, check those out. Coaster Monkey Studios, thank you so much for watching. I'm so great for you, grateful for you. Catch me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, uh, and... Uh, here on YouTube. Thanks so much. Click here to subscribe and catch you guys next time. Ciao.